Hey everyone, 22 Pepperjack here, aka Jack. Um, this is my first YouTube video, and we're going to be playing Kingdom New Lands. I have already played this game uh, in its original form, but I thought I'd give the new one a try. I've given it, I've played a couple times already, and kind of got my ass handed to me. Shit, I didn't mean to do the intro. All right, well, looks like we're doing the intro. Um, this is one of those games that. It's a lot of fun if you like money management stuff. If not, it may be a bit of a hassle, and it's very, very difficult. The original um, version of it, it had a tough difficulty curve. You'd start the game and usually get slaughtered by day 10 if you weren't prepared. This one I've already noticed. It's a lot easier to survive, and why am I using the mouse and keyboard? I have a controller here. Okay, so let's recruit you guys, and I have to do the tutorial, so I have to get one of each instead of two archers, and I think there's a camp over here. There should be. There usually is. Yep, there it is. Let's recruit you guys. Nope, nope I want to get you. There you are. Alright. Yeah, yeah, lady, I'm following you. That's something already that I've noticed is new. There didn't used to be a ghost. It was just like this spectral ball of light that just kind of flew around everywhere. Build, expand, defend. All right, there we go. Tutorial's done with. We're you just gonna keep following me around. Where are you pointing me to? Come on, lady. Let's get moving. Isn't this the end of it? We're. I oh, know you're just taking your sweet time disappearing. All right, that's all it is. Okay, I've got enough to make another archer. So in this game, basically, for those that don't know, you have to build up your kingdom by hiring archers builders and later on uh, farmers and you want to build walls and archer towers and all kinds of stuff to defend your kingdom because every single night or in the old game every night um, little black shadow creatures will come and attack you and it like I said earlier is very very difficult it's a very hard game um, I'm at a loss for words here. <laughs> Great way to start first video on YouTube. But whatever. Uh, speaking of first video, I can hear the buzzing in the background of this audio. That is my desktop, because it has three fans to keep it cool, and it, nine, none of them knows what the meaning of the word quiet is. It's actually quite loud. Probably need to get myself a new sound barrier. Or whatever the little fuzzy thing is that's on the end of a mic. I don't know the technical term for it. All I know is that mine got eaten off by my cat, so I don't have one of those, and it's quite noticeable. Okay, first night, and there we go. These are the shadow creatures here. They're usually pretty easy to kill. I mean, like, like these ones don't have masks, so they just die in one hit, but they'll come on later and they'll have, like, wooden masks or stone masks that take two or three hits to kill. And then they've got these big hulking creatures that just come through and they'll pick up your rocks and throw them at, back at you. They've also got flying ones which are a pain in the ass. They'll come through and they'll just eat your archers right off their tower and there's really nothing you can do about it. It's damn near impossible to kill them quick enough unless you just have hundreds of archers. Oh wait, hold on. It's, I just noticed this is the merchant from before. Um. Right, I forgot they changed him. Uh, so now he comes through every day, like, he'll come through and, like, okay, he's giving me my money now, and then I pay him one coin, and he'll go and get more. I didn't realize he comes automatically on the first day. I thought I had to kind of find him. Um, but then he'll go out to this little hut way over here, and then come back, and then he'll drop off the money, and I just pay him one coin every morning to go and get more. Uh, used to, he came, like, if you found him in the woods, you'd pay him, like, four or five coins, and he'd deliver an entire... Um, armor racks set of hammers, bows, or scythes is completely random, and usually not what you wanted. Like, usually you needed archers, and he'd be like, oh, yep, you know what, here's four more builders. So, I'm kind of glad they changed him. Why are you way the fuck over here? There's nothing over here, dude. Get back. The money is obviously over on this side of the base. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, I'm out of, oh, I'm out of run. Alright, good to know. Okay, seriously, the bunny spots are over here. Why are all of my archers just sitting in town? Guys, come on. I need some cash. Alright, you know what? Okay, there's one coin. One guy finally listened. 
I also noticed that they increased the spawn rate of chests. So like in the old game, you'd find like one or two maybe for your entire world, and here it's a lot higher. Like on average, I've been I've only played th three games, three or four games, and in all of those games, I found three maybe four chests. It's really nice, and it's a great way to spawn. Oh, well, just get some money at the start. Uh, I've also noticed that the first level, first world, first island, because it's, it's called New Lands, if, you, if you show you here, there's a map with different places on it. And the first land, uh, it always starts with, um, oh. Okay, so apparently if you are, no, I, okay, if you get a map, I guess you keep the map? If that makes sense? Because I used to have to get a map and then complete the map, and then I finally built a ship and went to a new place, and then now the map... I don't have to get the map again, I guess? Alright. Here's the portal, by the way. I'm gonna run now before anything spawns. Um, the goal is to try and destroy it to protect your kingdom, keep your kingdom safe. Um, but the chests are much higher spawn rate, which is what I was saying a minute ago, and it's real nice because it's a good way to get money in the beginning. And the portal, as I've noticed, only seems to spawn on one side of your island. In the original game, you always had a portal on both sides. Sometimes you'd have two portals on one side. And it was ridiculously hard to survive. Whereas now, I only have to defend from this side, which means I, can, I don't have to worry about building walls on my left side, because there is no portal on my left side, or at least from what I've noticed in the three or four games I've played. It only seems to spawn on one side. Um, I don't have to worry about it, so I can just expand over on that end without worry. I mean, I'm probably going to go double-check, just in case, because who knows, it's completely randomized from what I've noticed at the same time, so... Maybe I've just been lucky and all of my first worlds haven't had it. Yay, money. Um, let's see... Uh, I'm going to need more archers, that's what I need. And grab me my money... Pay you to go and get more, and then... Oh, should I do that yet? No, I don't have enough yet, I need to go find chests, and then I can upgrade my town hall. Which shouldn't be that hard to do. It's, I mean, this is the early game. I'm only in the first five days still, and this is where it gets easy. Uh, which, speaking of which, I forgot to mention that it gets difficult because we have blood moons every five days. The five, the, 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 the I can't talk today. The five day rule, um, or the blood moon days, are very difficult. Usually, an increased spawn rate, except in the new version of the game, New Lands, which is what I'm playing now. I've noticed that the first like two or three blood moons are relatively easy. In the original game, if you were not ready by that first day, you were screwed for the entire rest of the game. That first day would wipe you out, and there's no way you could prepare for the second blood moon in time. Um, but now, you've got like the first ten days to do whatever and kind of fuck around, and it's really not a problem. As long as you understand the basic mechanic. Oh! Okay, so the statues are still in the game. I, I've not been finding them, so I thought they weren't in the game anymore. Okay, good. This is still here. This is what I needed. <sighs> okay. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath for some reason. Okay, upgrading this means it's where, whenever I upgrade my stuff, I can upgrade it to stone level after the wood levels. Oh, yeah, I can also herd the deer back if I want to and have my people hunt them, but I've never really seen it to be worth the time because the deer are fickle sons of bitches. I'll get them, like, within range of my base, and the archer will shoot them once, and then they'll run all the way back to the end of the map, almost, and then I've got to herd them back, and I'll spend an entire day trying to herd one fucking deer back to my base. Just to get it shot three times, or two times, whatever the number is, it's not one, so that I can get the money for it. And sometimes it's only one coin, two, three, four, so it may not even be worth it. Although, since I'm heading back, I might as well try and herd these here, and I'll just show you what I mean. Oh, come on, run. I don't have all night. I mean, I do. I'm not on the side of the enemies, so they're not going to kill me or anything. But I'd rather, I'd still rather get to the base on time. There you go. So six deer, I think. A couple of them ran off screen. There's seven, so I'm not exactly sure. Oh shit! See what I mean? I didn't. There wasn't even an, one of my guys over here to scare him. He just turned around and went the other way. Okay, yeah, it's really late at night, which means there. And there we go. Down to five deer because they just four. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep these guys in base. Apparently, my guys are shooting them. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Hey, dipshit! I'm in front of you. Turn around. You bitch. See what I mean? They just—they just keep going. I fucking hate hunting the deer. 
they never want to cooperate. Or, I guess, are they elk? I've always called them deer, but I realize now the wiki said they were elk. So I have no idea. I'm going to keep calling them deer, because they look like deer. Kill them, please. Turn them around. I can't run anymore, so just kill them. Any kills? One, maybe two. Okay, looks like I got two of them. More money. I can upgrade this now. So a good advice... I can, some good advice I can give for um, getting your base easily defended without much cost is don't upgrade these first walls. Just upgrade your town hall. Oh shit, I'm already full on cash. Damn. Um, that's new. But if you just upgrade your town hall, it actually upgrades these walls for free. Which is a really smart way to go about it. Because you get basically two for the price of one. Also, the second I remove this tree, this camp disappears, and you need a lot of people to survive, so I tend to just keep this tree here and only push to, like, this point, because then I constantly have a supply of people close by, so, you know, when all hell breaks loose and they break through my walls, I'm just like, you know, hey, here's here's some free people. God, I'm already full on cash. That is very surprising. I've never been full on day four. There we go. I can upgrade again, and if you'll notice here, it'll upgrade me again. And, oh, I already upgraded these walls, didn't I? Oh, wait, no, no, no yeah, I didn't, I never... I never put up a wall here, and now I've got a wall here. See, it already upgraded the walls. So if I upgrade this again, it will give me more sturdy wood walls. I think. Or it will give me stone walls. I'm not sure. But sometimes it lets me upgrade, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not really sure how that works. But I'm going to get more money here. Oh, also, this guy right here, the little feather-hatted one, I can give him money, and he'll go and put it in the town hall. Because... Later on, winter will happen. Yes, the game has seasons now. And winter is a serious pain in the ass. If you are not prepared, you will get fucked. Uh, because in winter, the animals no longer spawn, so hunters can't hunt. Um, the farmers, from what I've noticed, will still farm, although I don't think they're supposed to. Um, I've had a glitch where like, I had, f I had three farmers on a farm plot, and then one of them just, poof, mysteriously vanished into thin air. So I made another one, and even though there was a farming space for him, he just stood here in front of Town Hall. Didn't do anything, didn't go anywhere, didn't farm. And then about two days later, my other farmer just, poof, vanished. So I had one guy farming for the entire kingdom, and like I ended up making three more farm farmers. So I had one guy farming, and three farmers just standing here, even though they had the space to farm in. They didn't want to actually farm. Okay, that was a bad idea. I upgraded the Town Hall, and so I've got stone here in the background, and they tried making the stone walls, but... They did it in the middle of the night, so a guy got through, which could have screwed me a little bit, but thankfully wasn't as bad as it could have been. I have one builder. I should make some more. Okay, I tend to keep about four builders, about two on each side. That tends to work out well for me. Um, but anyways, so I don't think the farmers are supposed to do that, unless, uh, I mean, maybe I got a glitch and that one guy wasn't supposed to be farming at all, so the disappearing was a mistake, or maybe I got a glitch and they were supposed to be farming, they just didn't want to leave to go do so. I, I'm not sure. All I know is winter hit and I was doing fine, and then halfway through winter my farmers disappeared, and then I couldn't get any money to save my life. I was seriously screwed because of it. So, winter sucks because you never have enough money to survive. However, with this guy, all through summer and fall, I can drop money off with him. Oh, not the builder, go away. I can drop money off with him, and he'll put it in here, and then when winter comes, he kind of dispenses it back to me in a certain percentage. Percentage? I'm not sure what it is. Like, some days he would give me, like, 20 coins, and other days, like, two. And I'm just like, okay, I, I guess that works, thanks. I needed 20 now and two, three days ago, but thank you. I'm going to clear out these trees a little bit so that my archers on this side can get some rabbits to kill. Oh, also, you can tell whenever it's a blood moon night because it's rainy and cloudy and stormy, like it is right now. So, it's going to be a blood moon tonight, which I can already tell because it's day five, although I don't, like, up there in the top right corner. Although, I don't exactly trust it because I've noticed it a little off sometimes. I've had times where it'll say, you know, day 19, and then I have a blood moon, and then it'll say day 20. Like, right now, it's day five, and then night five is when I get the blood moon, and then later on, I guess it... Maybe it's my computer's running a little slow or something, or the programming's a little weird, I don't know. But then it'll be like, 
day 19, and then the night of the 19th is a blood moon, and then it's day 20, and it's like, is it supposed to come before or after? I'm not sure. And then I had a time once where it was the other way around, where it said day 20, and then I was like, oh shit, blood moon, and then no blood moon, and then day 21, and then I had a blood moon. It's like, oh, okay, thanks for the false, uh, false panic. So I'm not even sure how it works, because it always seems to be a little weird for me and unreliable. So I really don't trust that in the corner. Oh shit, this... The music is a lot creepier now, I've noticed. Like, the, the Blood Moon Nights are very, very creepy because of this music change. I mean, actually, for all I know, maybe it's the same music before. I never really played with my headphones in the old version, but it seems a lot creepier now. Okay, come on, guys. Get back here. You can just stay out there and try and sell sides to nobody. We don't care. It's not like they... Hit. I find it funny that these guys can't actually take damage. He can just have a stall in the middle of the woods, and he's never going to die. And yep, Blood Moon, you can see it peeking over there and all that red in the clouds. There it is, coming up. And the first Blood Moon, like I said, is a lot easier. The first time, like whatever you see here, multiply it by about four, and I think that's what the first Blood Moon was. And it was just, it was actually kind of brutal. Nice and easy.